Hello, my name is David Pegg and welcome to my 2014-2010 Game of the Year Red Dead Redemption. This is a sort of last impressions of video where I spend a few minutes just talking about an old game that I quite like. Now, what I love about Red Dead is just how open it is, how free it feels. It's full of it's full of horizons and sunsets and sunrises and open expanses and it's actually quite liberating for an open world game where you, st you still have your constant mini-map in the corner and your character lump right there in the middle of the screen and there are roads and paths and train tracks and you get a slight speed boost when you, when you follow these but more often than not you find yourself forgetting where the hell you were supposed to be going just so you can find a perfect hill to watch a sunset from or, or race through the desert in the middle of a lightning storm or just check out what's behind that giant rock like it's it's basically the antithesis of what Rockstar's main series, Grand Theft Auto, is known for. Like, you are a cowboy in the later years of cowboy times. So there's no there's no radio, there's no GPS, there's no stop signs of red lights on mobile phones, it's just you and your horse. And you become genuinely attached to this nameless animal. Like your horse is special. Like it, it controls well, it's functional, but at the same time, like when your first horse dies, I haven't been quite so moved by an animal's death since I watched since I watched Marley and me. Like, we had ridden together, like I cried buckets, but we'd ridden together, we'd stop my campfires together, we tried entering saloons together, I got drunk and ran into it more times than I might remember. And then finally, we tried claiming one bounty too many and was shot dead in some random encounter. But there was something oddly cathartic and downright cold about the absolute bloodbath rampage that I went on just to avenge this this nameless animal. And then, because, you know, video games, I skinned it and sold it and I bought a poncho. And then I sauntered back into the nearest town, stole another horse and rode all the way to Mexico. And that's kind of what's fantastic about Red Dead Redemption. That's what makes it unique. It's utterly unlike anything else out there in terms of its setting, its atmosphere, just the feeling of sheer freedom, liberation that you get from it is a game that is hampered by the standard plot and mission problems that all Rockstar games suffer from, though. They're open world, but the mission structures don't embrace that. They stifle you, they funnel you down their carefully plotted routes, turning the possibilities of their, their, their staggeringly well-realized worlds into the gaming equivalent of a driving test, with the game sitting there like some overbearing examiner, judging you, telling you to turn left, reverse around the corner, drive straight ahead, when really all you want to do is just take it for a spin and be let loose on the A329 into Bracknell and, and then out of Bracknell again because, well, Bracknell and yet you forgive Red Dead for that because everything surrounding that from the acting to the score to its stunning stunning ending every aspect of it is spectacular it's a stunning achievement and it's probably the best western made in any medium for a long time and in my opinion, it's Rockstar's masterpiece and last generation of consoles, and probably my favourite game of the last decade. So, I'm going to retire at this campfire, and I'll say farewell. Bye bye bye.